Hello, this is Jonathan Lane at KC Strings in Marion, Kansas on a cold winter day. And today we're going to talk about the cello and bass, the similarities and differences of the left hand position. And so what the first thing I want to show you is live long and prosper. And then I want to show you rule of thumb. And these little statements are kind of ways you can use as a teacher to remind you how these differences are. So the first thing is, um, that reminds me about doing this video is, I did another video when I demonstrated cello and I played out of tune. There's a previous video out there and I was kind of stunned by that and I realized what the problem was. I had just played bass. And so the left hand finger patterns, the shape of the hand or what I would call um, live long and prosper is different. So when I put my hand down normally in just a relaxed position or this hand too, this is what I think is the normal hand shape. It may be different for you. And that actually is live long and prosper for the bass. But for the cello we need more of this. I'll play a C major scale and look at the difference between third finger and second finger. So you have to get the three up and the two back. And so basically with the cello we need equal spacing or equidistance for those patterns. A typical cello warm up pattern you do that. Now um, the rule of thumb is the same for me on the cello bass and that basic rule is that thumb stays behind second finger. Some people might promote going between one and two but in general a good rule of thumb, thumb behind second finger. On the violin and viola I, my rule of thumb is thumb across from first finger. But um, this is a similarity on the cello and bass, where you do basically say, now that will change um, and that can move uh, depending whether you're playing the fourth finger or extensions or various things. But the general rule of thumb is this, so you have a C shape, the finger's curved, um, and the thumb stays in general behind second finger. There are differences um, in more advanced playing as far as the, the cello and bass, but um, that pattern of what you need here for the cello is important. And here's an example of the G minor scale and how that seventh degree can be raised by using that. <laughs> and we're going to talk about some similar uh, issues about the hand. So again, rule of thumb applies. I have this kind of shape and the thumb generally across from second finger. The difference here is that this is live long and prosper on the bass. And so when you look at a well-trained bass player, you'll generally see that hand shape. Now, um, there are exceptions to this, I mean, uh, you know, uh, that you won't always see but if you, I have a picture of the Kansas City Symphony bass section was used on a program and I have it in my private studio and I use that sometimes to show my students. You can see they're about, almost the entire section is on a pattern and they have this kind of shape. Notice that two and three are close to each other and there's a space. So the half steps are one, two, and four. Traditionally, bass players do not use third finger in what we might call fourth position and below. As you go higher up, then you can use third finger as part of the thumb position. So to get those half steps, we use this pattern. Little drill that I do as a warm up. So you have that shape. Um, example again of the minor scale and with strings, we can 
make uh, an emotional leading tone. And so that two to four is the pattern. So again, the hand shape is this. And to get a side view, you can see this, the thumb behind second finger, the space between one and two, and the half step up between two and four. Um, things that are also similar between the cello bass are shifting motions. That's other, and then vibrato is similar. So in the future, we'll talk about some other similarities and differences in the cello and bass. Just a couple review items. The notion of live long and prosper for the cello, live long and prosper for the bass, and the rule of thumb in the shape of a C. Stay tuned for more on the similarities between cello and bass left hand. Thank you very much.